How's it going, folks? So, this week on Twitch, we have started our latest save. This is a stream save. You might recognise the team. Let's have a look. Before we get started, big thank you to my latest patron squad member, Kevin V90. You're a legend. Thank you for the support, buddy. In the recent history, Karabukspor were actually quite successful in the Super League at the top division in Turkey. However, season 2017-2018 was a disaster and resulted in relegation, the first of many. In fact, that season, the coaching changes, four of them, financial ruin, all contribute to the club finishing last with only three wins and three draws all season. Man, this led to absolute disaster. With no money and little in the way of talent to sell, the club's financial position required them to use low-paid youth players only and so Cara Buxbos suffered back-to-back -back relegations. They finished last in 2018, winning zero games, drawing only three, and suffering a negative 102 goal difference, finishing the season with zero points, after a three-point admin penalty was assessed. My oh my, did they get lucky. They would have almost certainly have been relegated, but the Turkish government suspended the leagues. Relegations were postponed for a season. This respite is likely to be short-lived as the club remains anchored to the bottom of the league. Another relegation would push them down into the Turkish Regional Amateur League. These boys need some help, man. Now, luckily for Karabuk Sport, that's where this jet setter comes in. This tactical genius. The second coming of Pep Guardiola, maybe? Look at him. He's ready. He's enthusiastic. He's ready to turn Karabuk Sport around. So crew, we're going back to Karabuk Spawn now. If you remember at the start of Stingerman journey, Stingerman number one, that's where we ended up. So there it is, posted in the 15th of February. That's when we took over Karabuk Spawn in the Stingerman journey. And remember, it was a challenge. We were there for a year, two years. The first season was tough, it was brutal. And the second season we improved and we left. And I can't help thinking that it was unfinished business. So when we finished the Twitch stream with Palmer, when I got sacked, we needed a new one. And I thought, let's go back to kind of box sport. There's the club info screen. You might notice something different though now. So when we come back to this screen now in the changing rooms, you'll notice I've got some beautiful, beautiful kits. Check them out. I've just done a video about custom kits. Massive thank you to Lorenzo FM Custom Kits. He set us up with these kits. They look absolutely beautiful. We've even got a little logo as a sponsor. Let's get to the club info screen and you can see the other two kits we've got. Here we are, club info screen. It looks a bit better now, doesn't it? How much better does that look with those kits? So three beautiful kits, red and blue, all blue and all white. We are set up and good to go. Now we've played a little bit of the season through. Let's have a look to see how we've done. And I'm happy to say that season one for Carabox Bar version two has gone better than the first time. So we're 20 games in, we're 20 games in and we're sitting in sick. We've played 20 games. We've got 34 points. Now remember that we did start the season with minus three points. So in essence, we're kind of three points better off. So if we had those three points, 37 points, we'd be up there in the playoffs. Delighted with the way it's gone. We started like a house on fire. Then we dropped right off. And now we've just started to claw it back. So we started really well against the smaller teams in pre-season. Coming to the start of the season, actually started really well. Undefeated in our first four. Then we lost a couple Got it back and then we lost the three games there, but one of those is against the top team in the Turkish Cup, so no panic. A few tactic tweaks here and there. Went on to a magnificent nine game undefeated streak. Heavy defeat there against Tarsus, but what I will say about Tarsus is they are top of the league. Looks like they're gonna storm the league. And we've come back and got the victory. You can see there's a variety of formations we've used there. We've settled on a couple at the minute, but at this level, what I've learned is it's not as much about the tactic. It's about keeping morale up and getting that momentum. To build that momentum, we need a solid tactic that isn't too complicated. And you can see there, that is a pretty defensive looking tactic. 4-1-4-1, that's the main one we've used. We've just recently flipped to another style. This one, it's a bit more aggressive. We've got a shadow striker in behind the striker using a Volante as well. And this is the guy that we're gonna build this team around and hopefully the save around. He's my six foot six, I think we agreed on stream last night. 
Secunde Valante. There he is. So his height is 197 centimeters. So I think, correct me if I'm wrong, that's six foot six. He's an absolute unit. He's only 19, only 19, and he's scored six goals so far in 21 games. And he's got a good average rating. If you have a little look, there he is, 7.08. So he is a massive standout. Now look at his attributes. That is the sort of level we're at. It's not great, is it? You can see he's he's good at long shots, decision making, and jumping reach. And he's a bit of a grafter, but he's our star man at 4.3 k, uh, 4.3 thousand, sorry, 4.3 k. So that should show you the type of level we're at. So as I say, he's been the standout. Now this game here against Turkle Sport, we started in the 4141, and we were getting battered. Check out that for a ping. Lower league Turkish football for you. And here we go. This is where he comes in trumps. So we just flipped it to the Valante tactic. This is the right winger. This is the big man there. All nine foot seven of him. From that Secunde role, so he's coming up from there, coming up from deep. This is exactly how you want a Volante to work there. Burke waits for him, plays it in, pings it in. So that's where we're at, crew. Just a super quick update on the Twitch save. Kind of box ball, back in the house. We'll keep these going. We'll do one every week or so. So those who can't get over to Twitch to watch can keep up to date on what we're doing. The goal is long haul save, get Kara box ball back to the top. 